Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. Well, we have access for Gaichu's mission, guys. First off, let's go ahead and get some shut eye here in the bunk. Have ourselves a nice nightmare. As you pass in front of the walled city, something takes hold of your chest and squeezes. An internal pang, like a panic attack, but worse. You feel your chest compress. I think we've... And for a second, the world turns to liquid. We've went through this before. Walled city, yeah. Used needles on a sidewalk. This is just what we had when we walked by. Hmm. And we have to try and walk it off? Hmm. That's interesting. We just basically had a uh, revisit to what happened earlier. Alrighty. Well, no harm, no foul. Now, we've got to head... Help Gaichu set an ambush for his former team. Indeed. So, do we head... Yep. Head back to the subway as normal. The MTR. And I wonder what we get for completing this with Gaichu, and how many people we can actually bring. Because that'll be interesting. Real quick, let's talk to Freddy and see if there's any been any dialogue changes. Just so we know. Just watching the door? Okay, Freddy. I expect some plot developments when I get back. Yeah, let's see here. And we're as about as equipped as we're going to be. Travel to the Renraku warehouse in Tolo Harbor to ambush Gaichu's old Red Samurai unit. Sounds fun. And we can take a full four. So that's good. Uh, definitely taking Gaichu. We don't have much of a choice in the matter. Uh, let's go with... I noticed that he mentioned Gobbit. So we'll have Gobbit. And we took Duncan on the last run. Let's take Ractor. There we go. Everything looks good here. Now in terms of inventory... What do I have? I don't have much inventory, do I? Oh well. We'll go ahead and just go with that. I probably need to go buy some... Hold on a second. How is our inventory looking? Yeah, we need to... Hold up. We need to stop by 10 Armed Ambroses and get some med packs. I keep on forgetting. It refreshes the team's gear, but not mine. Okay, Ambrose, I need to see your services. Doc Wagon Gold Trauma Kit, just need some med packs. We've got one trauma kit. So let's go for three. Yeah, let's just go for three advanced med kits and we should be good. There we are. We have room for two more, but I don't I don't foresee us needing them them. And I gotta check my spells here as well. Thank you, boss. Look looking forward to all the jobs we're gonna unlock. Holy crap. I hope Auntie Chang doesn't mind us being late because we wanna get all that stuff taken care of before we start talking to her. All right, there we go. Now, Gaichu, Ractor, and Gobbit. 319 new yen. Items. Yeah, Gobbit doesn't really carry any med packs. No, oh, well. We're confirmed. Let's go ahead and do this. What could possibly go wrong? Retribution. The Tolo Harbor Industrial Complex is a sprawling maze of warehouses, auto fabrication facilities, shipping container mazes, and corporate power. If something corporate owned is shipped through Hong Kong, it invariably moves through these streets. The Renraku shipping facility lies far enough away from the heart of Tolo Harbor that you won't have to worry about corporate security other than the on-site guards. 
and Renraku's extraterritoriality means that any fighting won't risk backup from Renacops. Well, that's good. We just have to worry about stuff in house. Now, in terms of our spells, we got Killing Hands, which is definitely good. Stride, Magic Resistance, Manifest, and Quick Strike. Don't know. We've got the Nerve Strike, Martial Defense. Hmm. That's always interesting to me. I think we we need another slot in the spell book. Is what we're needing. But let's. I want to be. I'll tell you what. We are going to go ahead and move Stride off the spells. And we are going to go ahead and take martial defense for that little bit because now we've got the medium cover bonus to magic spells and the light cover bonus against incoming attacks for four rounds. So I think that'll actually work. And we're going to go with that. Hopefully that's a good decision. Lowers my speed by a slight bit, at least the passive bonus. But I don't think I'd actually use that a whole lot. As you exit the MTR and step into the Tolo Harbor streets, you are blessedly spared from rain. An ebb in the constant monsoon combined with the sweltering heat has left the concrete, and your body blessedly free of moisture. Kaichu casts a glance at you, and he nods in satisfaction. This is the facility. Past that fence is the warehouse and test laboratories. Ashida and his team should arrive mere minutes after we breach their defenses. Hmm... Is there anything I should know about this place? Not that I'm aware of, no. Standard defenses will be in place, and Raku is nothing if not predictable. There will be armed guards with orders to shoot trespassers on sight, biometrically locked doors, a secure matrix host with black IC. Ah, oh, crap, we should have brought ISO. The facility itself should have guards both inside and in the outer courtyards. While the Red Samurai provide a good backup team, there are too few of them to mount a standard guard. This means that we'll be facing standard Renraku security forces. While they are not as potent as better equipped security, Knight Errant, for instance, they are still skilled combatants. Gobbit grins widely, tossing her ropes of hair over one shoulder. Great! I love dealing with corporate security. They're like a stake. You're never just surprised by what you get, but you're never disappointed either. This is just sounding fine, Nibbles. Nibbles? Inclining his head respectively, Kaichu matches Gobbit's grin with a small one of his own. I am glad it meets with your approval, Gobbit. I would hate to think you were bored. Indeed. So, locate the drone prototype and Gaichu must survive. Hmm. Out of order. I like the fact that there's an umbrella there. Just taking a look and seeing if there's anything else we need to be aware of before we cross this fence line and commit ourselves. Hmm. Okay, we got some trucks blocking the way there. Now, looks like more of the same that way. Blocked by a bulldozer. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and do this, guys. Everyone form up. Plenty of cover. Hostiles spotted. Indeed. And we are now going to get into the nitty gritty. Let's get behind some cover here. And that's is going to give us that cover. Let's do... We'll rush up here for it. Gaichu. We have the coup de gras. Opening attack and water stance. Active defense. Bolsters defense. That's a five turn thing for two rounds. And we will rush up this way. I should have probably had him do that up here. It's alright though. Ractor, we're going to take control of Koshi. Get ourselves in a good defensive position right off the bat. 
And Gobbit, you do the same. And we have got them dead to rights, don't we? Oh, there's a nice little barrel. Tell you what, Kochi. I want you to take a nice target locked on right here to this barrel. That's starting things off. Well, little helpers. And the mage is probably going to be our first, so. There we are. Sean, let's activate. No, not manifest. Killing hands. And say hello with a nice. Maybe a manifest damage of 10. Damage of 14. Maybe we should have got rid of manifest. Ack. Way to go there, Sean. Let's finish off this guy. There's the fight music. Ractor, you can go ahead and get your pistol out now. Gobbit, you too. The Renraku captain. Kind of out of range for that. You have a shotgun, don't you? Yes, you do. Ow! Where'd you guys come from? It's alright, though. We'll get it going. We will do... We'll rush up here for a quick strike to the captain. There we go. That's something. And... We'll try Manifest since it's here. There we go. 19 damage. That's better, Sean. Now, let's do what we got. Ghoul Spit. Ignores all armor. Range of 10. We missed with the ghoul spit, unfortunately. It's alright, though. Let's get to slicing. Kaichu's off his... <laughs> off his game today. I think Ractor's gonna stay right there. And we will... Increase... Well, Kochi's damage, so... Let's go ahead and... Heal that up. Gobbit, I need you to heal Gaichu, because he took a significant heal for 19. There we go. And line of sight's blocked, but we're going to keep you right there. Kochi, let's reposition ourselves for better cover. Target leg, shotgun mount. Oh, that would hit everyone. Don't want to do that. Plink the Renraku captain. And let's do aim accuracy to Gaichu since he seems to be lacking in that. Ow! Hmm. Well, you missed that shot at least. Alrighty. Well, we're going to focus on this guy. I think this guy pretty much just killed himself. We're going to manifest it up. And Gaichu. Let's look at his stances. Critical chance and critical multiplier. Dodge or reduce and take two additional points of damage from attacks. Do AP damage or reduced HP damage. Water stance. Let's go into Heaven Stance. There we go. That's some damage dealing. There we go. That's better. Now, Ractor. Let's do Overclock on Kochi. Get him that plus one AP. And... Let's go ahead and give Sean some haste, so we can finish off this guy. There we are. Now, Kochi, I need you to do an aimed shot 
to this toxic barrel. That should take care of the Renraku, Captain. Medium cover. Oh, he is so dead after that. How about this guy? Oh, wow. He's under some good cover. Oh, he healed himself. Dang, guy. Hmm. Okay. You're out in the open. That's kind of your bad, my friend. And killing hands. For 18. Now you're bludgeoning him to death there, Sean. Good on you. Finish this up. And I don't know if I'm immune to, uh... I don't think so. Let's try the ghoul spit on this guy. There we are. Got some HP back. That wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. And Gaichu is still in kill mode. Slake your bl bloodlust, sir. There's the elevator. Man, I really wish that I had brought in Gobbit with me. Or not Gobbit, um, ISO. Get some medical supplies. I'll definitely take that. That gives us another Dock Wagon Trauma Kit. Let's check the maintenance panel. I don't think anyone really has anything to contribute to this, unfortunately. The access panel is unlocked. Peering inside, you notice there are connections to building systems such as cameras and electrical power. Cannot deck, unfortunately. Oh well. No guts, no glory. Shall we take this time to heal up our guys? I think now would probably be the best time. So let's go with Gobbit. I want you to use your spell. Can you? I'm not sure if you can or... Items... Oh, we can only use the med kits. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Or maybe only I can use the med kit. Activate. So it gives us an option to activate. Alright. Was that work on the heal wound? Nope. Well, let's go ahead on Gaichu. There you go, little trooper. Ooh, got some dragon lines over here. Do we want to be all super secret squirrel about this? Renraku Guard, Renraku Enforcer. You can't see what the rest of this stuff looks like, though. However, it looks like there's a place that um, Gobbit can summon a spirit, so that's cool. Let's go ahead and get ourselves gussied up here. Some martial defense. And on me, obviously. And the magic resistance is there already. Quick strike, killing hands. Ah, cool. Well, let's do quick strike to this guard. Haikiba! And we are still... Uh, the Enforcer has a shotgun. We probably need to deal with that. There we go. Oh, we went back into water stance. Hmm. Okay, control mode. Kochi is on the case. Gonna target the head. Oh, Kochi. Why for you do this? Take some cover there. Now, Gobbit, is that a... Checking out everything else here. I think we're in pretty good shape, all things considered. Let's see how they react. Ow! And we got a mage. 
miss that fireball from far away. I don't think Gaichu would probably do well with uh, being cooked. So, Renraku Enforcer, let's go ahead and... Oh, I don't even have Killing Hands. There we go. That was where I was going wrong. Let's Renraku Guard. Slicey, slicey. And let's go into Metal Stance. Heaven Stance. That's better. Manual focusing, where are you at? Overclock. That seems to be our bread and butter with Kochi. Now, this is interesting because Gobbit can actually... Plink, plink. Two attacks with less chance of critical damage may hit adjacent targets. Now, let's just light him up from there. Throw a heal Gaichu's way because he had 16 damage. Now... Yeah, there you go, Kochi. That's what I wanted to see. And there's not a whole lot of places that this guy can go. Other than the great hereafter. Now, what are you going to do there, Mr. Mage? Holy crap, ow! Hmm. Not good. Let's get a med pack on Gaichu. Oh, he healed for 20. That's nice. We need to get into that... Right up in that mage's business. For 19. Ractor. Let's move up. Gobbit. Where are we going with you? Yeah, up here is pretty much where we're going to have to do. Kochi. Is there... Ah, that's way too... Almost. For 21. Armor damage by 4, that's bad. Gaichu's not feeling it. Go ahead and just punch this guy in the back of the head. There we are. And keep on slashing. That's what you do. Can we overclock again? No. Well, let's increase Koshi's uh, accuracy. Plink, plink. And we are still, unfortunately... How about an aimed shot? Since you're out of range there. Now. Right there, 15. Good. One more to do. Crap. Almost had him. Thank you, Sean. Game is saved. Need to find some med packs or something around here. Check over here. Looks like a conveyor belt. Hmm. You know what probably we should have done is gone into one of these hallways. I didn't know if it would react, you know, bring in more people. But uh and then activate the overclock, or not the overclock, the um, overwatch ability. Quarantine terminal. Renraku, connecting <laughs> connecting you with your dreams. Gaichu, what is this thing? Gaichu runs his fingers over the terminal for a few seconds. This is the control panel for the quarantine room beyond it. Standard design across most Renraku facilities. Parazoologists use it to study the responses of paranormal animals and external stimuli. Interesting. Ractor peers into the room beyond, eyes twinkling with curiosity. What kind of stimulus do they expose the creatures to? What is the purpose to their tests? 
The animals are exposed to high voltage current, open flame, toxic gases, etc. The primary purpose of these experiments is to identify the best specimens and reserve them for breeding. Those that are sufficient stock survive, the rest do not. Such survivors make excellent guard animals once cybernetically controlled. Oh, I, I bet that got Ractor's attention. Looks like we got some... Hmm. Well then. And this is all... Scared scientist, huh? Well, we will talk to you here in a second. The wall vent looks large enough to accommodate a standard security drone. Activate a drone, huh? Alright. Um, let's go into control mode. There you go, Kochi. What you gonna find here? Ooh, all kinds of good stuff. And the turn... Open the door from this side. Looks like we got some medical supplies. Huzzah! Now... Advanced med kit. Definitely will take that. What else we got? A uh, shamanic salve. A simple magically prepared salve that heals 7 base HP and further 7 HP per round for 3 rounds. Consumed with used. Nice! I've never seen that before. We'll take that. I think we're going to need every little bit. And we can't access that again, probably. Maybe here after we talk to the scared scientists. Knock, knock. As you barge into the office, the lone scientist within leaps back to cower against the desk he was working at. Don't hurt me! Please! A split second later, the scientist stands upright. An expression of profound shock spreads across his face, and he takes an involuntary half-step toward Gaichu. Wait! It... It's you! Saru! The man's amazement is apparent in his voice, which barely rises above a whisper. When Raku management said you were dead, but I knew they were lying but I didn't expect that you would be the one to answer my request. This is a good omen, my friend. Gaichu, in turn, seems just as surprised as the Renraku employee. Indeed, you were lied to. The shame the Red Samurai suffered due to their inability to kill me is undoubtedly something they wish to hide. I am glad to see that you are well, but I am no longer Saru. That codename is long gone. Now, I am Gaichu. You know this man, Gaichu? Yes. His name is Tanjiro Sasaki, a senior researcher. He has served Renraku for more than a decade. Gaichu smiles faintly, waving a hand toward Tanjiro. Do you recall how I said I had guarded similar facilities? They were usually in service of protecting Tanjiro's projects. Tanjiro is slowly relaxing, although the tremors in his hands indicate that adrenaline is still thick in his blood. It's true, and believe me, I can help you with what you're here for. Hmm... Let's see. Well, not quite. We're here for a few reasons. Tanjiro scowls. Your fixer got the job because I've arranged this. Why do you think it was so easy to get here? You're here not just for the drone, but to fake someone's death. My death. If a group of heavily armed shadow runners break in here, it's completely believable that I would be killed in the process. Tanjiro lets out a heavy sigh and wipes his brow. As of right now, I've suppressed the alarms. I can undo that, and once I've reached a safe distance, I will. Samurai will arrive just a moment too late to save the research, and me. So we've already helped you. What can you do for us? Now the Red Samurai team will rush to this building as soon as the alarms are released. I'll give you the code I wrote into my Overwatch program. Just use it on one of the security mainframes when you're ready. You'll have time to set up any ambush you like. Cradling his chin in one hand, Guy Chu's eyes narrow. Typically, we would send the main force in through the front, leaving one team member aside to flank the opposition. It would be advantageous for us to isolate one of them and pick them off before the main force engages us. Tanjiro snaps his finger suddenly, looking at Gaichu. 
You can use the quarantine room. It can be programmed to destroy contaminants or apply lethal amounts of electricity. Regardless of which you pick, it should certainly kill anyone attempting to pass through it. Yes. Yes, that could work. Gaichu nods to you, expression bright. If we were to make the quarantine room look like the point of ingress, it would send at least one of the team there with the main squad utilizing standard routes, namely, entering through the front door. Sean, we should let Tanjiro go. He's given us more than enough to accomplish the task at hand, and he is... a friend of sorts. I would be sorry if any harm came to him. Okay, get out of here, Tanjiro. Uh, I trust Gaichu. Tanjiro bows low. Thank you. You have no idea what it's been like living under Renraku's thumb. You're giving me the chance to start again, hopefully with a better life. He turns to face Gaichu, smiling faintly. And you? It's because of you I found the strength to leave Renraku. That they couldn't find or kill you was a sign that I could escape as well. I admired your tenacity, your drive. Thank you, Tanjiro. That means more to me than I think you know. Gaichu points toward the door. Go. They'll be coming for us soon enough. I want you to be well out of here when they arrive. Nodding, Tanjiro bolts towards the door. Alright guys, well, we are about to start the fight with the Renraku Red Samurai. Gaichu's taking a little bit of chin music, but hopefully we'll get through it all alright. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we will see you next time. Later days, everyone.